to Welcome to our marketing presentation on Quaker Oats and Huel. Uh, the work and research was carried out by Harry Lane, Dylan Levy and James Jarrett. So first of all, I will introduce you to our proposed co-brand. Huel is a food and drink supplement brand focused upon protein and sustainability. Our proposed product is a Quaker Oats So Simple bar mixed in with a Huel version 3.1 bar. This product is targeting commuters who need a quick and easy breakfast or snack on their way to work, combining both nutritious value and added protein for people who are targeting a healthier lifestyle. To support this, just over a third of 25 to 34 year olds typically eat breakfast out of their home two or more times a week, with just under a quarter eating breakfast out of the home four or more times a week. The following table here reveals the percentages of how commuters travel to work Consequently, indicating that a breakfast bar with enhanced nutrition would be an effective product for commuters and can be consumed when using any method of transport shown here. Uh, so, in 1850, Ferdinand Schumacher found uh, German Mills, which uh, was the American cereal company in Akron. Uh, 23 years later, uh, Quaker Oats registered as the first trademark for a breakfast cereal. In 1888, seven of the largest American oat millers unite as the American Cereal Company. In 1891, the Quaker brand becomes the first brand to feature a recipe on its box, and this can be seen over here. Uh, in 1901, the American Cereal Company changed its name to the familiarised Quaker Oats Company. And in 1915, the familiar Quaker Oats package is introduced. 1922 saw Quaker introduce Quaker Quick Oats, which is one of the first convenience products. 1966, a Quaker instant oatmeal introduced, and this was very convenient and took only one minute to make. 1981, saw the introduction of Quaker granola bars, which are known as Quaker Chewy. And in 1997, the first heart health claim was uh, given, and this said that soluble fibre from oatmeal as part of a low saturated fat, low cholesterol diet may reduce the risk of heart disease and developing coronary heart failure. In 2017, Quaker celebrated their 140 year anniversary. Quaker Oats have a vast number of direct competitors. Their biggest competitors are Kellogg's, General Mills, Nature Valley, Weetabix, Mondelez International and also Pop Chips. Quaker Oats have always positioned themselves as a provider of healthy snacks. The brand aims to provide a healthier product than that of their, their competitors. This is demonstrated through their market segmentation, where they target healthy people, gym users, people aged from between 10 to 45, patients with cholesterol problems and students. The unique selling point of Quaker Oats is their focus and ambition to provide their consumers with a healthy lifestyle. Through the use of better glucan, which is found in oats, as well as 100% whole grain, which is a source of fiber, Quaker Oats can provide their consumers with a range of products that are linked with reductions in blood cholesterol, as well as reductions in the risk of developing coronary heart disease. And this will be appealing to a wide range of consumers. This, the marketplace isn't, ch isn't changing, but it's consistently growing as competitors consistently add to their product range. For example, protein bars on the go. In order to attract new customers and a new market, having such a long history enables Quaker Oats to have a strong relationship with their suppliers due to being such a trustworthy brand with a strong brand image. Furthermore, Quaker Oats have a number of distributors as they market all over the UK, including major supermarkets such as Sainsbury's and Tesco. Quaker Oats have a good brand name which provides them with brand loyalty. In addition to that, they have become a global brand and have reached international markets with their products being sold in countries such as Italy, USA and Greece. Devin Simkin, 2009, have defined a pesto as the board of forces affecting all organisations in a market ranging from manufacturers to distributors to customers. We have looked at the external factors influencing Quaker Oats and have identified the following. Politically, Brexit could mean new international opportunities for the business. In addition, the government are looking at dealing with obesity levels in the country and healthy food products will help deliver this objective. The fluctuations in the economy could lead to opportunities and challenges as any future recessions leading to reduced disposable income could mean people switching from healthy product to the cheapest available. Social changes in behaviour in recent years has led people to focus on their health and eating habits, which has driven the development and marketing of a new product. 
Advances in technology will mean improvements in production methods on this on the one hand, and but also the ability to reach a broader market, both domestically and internationally, through new and from new and developing marketing channels. For legal, the food industry has high standards for safety reasons relating to how food is transported, s stored and prepared. Temperatures of stock and ingredients need to be monitored and maintained at an appropriate level. Uh, next up we have our SWOT analysis which shows Quaker Oats' strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. To start off with, Quaker Oats has a very strong brand image and through their delivery of products and services to a wide audience in different geographic regions, whilst also providing a mass range of breakfast-based products including porridge and muesli. Its weaknesses, however, are the similarities to competitors who have lower price ranges, such as the classic UK superstores such as Tesco having their finest range. In addition, there has been increased criticism from environmentalists due to a lack of sustain sustainability in their business operations. However, the opportunities for Quaker Oats relates to the advancements in technologies which will in turn provide them with better productivity. The threats posed towards Quaker Oats similarly to its weaknesses are based upon sustainability and whether this may affect their publicity negatively. In addition, more recently there has been a vast spread of coronavirus which in turn could restrict their trade uh, to many larger regions. The BXC around coronavirus however may initially boost sales with people looking for long-lasting foods and with beneficial nutrients that they contain. So here's just a brief history of Huel. It uh, began in 2014 by a man named Julian Hearn, and then a year later it first began shipping out to different regions within the UK, and in 2016 it began shipping to the rest of Europe. Uh, a year later it then expanded into the United States. In early 2017, 2017 it began first trading outside of Europe and the, the lot in the last year in 2019 Hughes report stated that they had over 50 million meals to more than 80 countries showing their huge growth and success since 2014. Uh, targeting this market has meant that Huel faced tough competition from companies such as Cliff Bar and Company, Kind and Quest Nut Nutrition. Like Quaker Oats, Huel is a company that has also focused on health and targets specific customers such as dieters, vegans, vegetarians, healthy people, gym users and also students. There is some overlap with the consumers that are targeted by both companies. Huel's co consumers, who have been referred to as Hooligans, have left comments on the Huel Instagram page with the general consensus being that Huel products are tasty, cheap, healthy, vegan, balanced and convenient. Unlike Quaker Oats, Huel have a very original, unique selling point, using a combination of carbohydrates, fats, proteins, fibres and 26 essential vitamins and minerals makes them stand out from competitors and provides them with an immediate competitive advantage. So Huel have done a lot of work to position themselves as a responsible and sustainable brand, achieving some exceptional results in areas such as preventing 900,000 kilograms of food waste which is the equivalent of filling 33 shipping containers to the brim. Huel have also contributed to a 240,000 kilogram reduction in plastic waste, which is equivalent to around 2,500 very full, very large wheelie bins. In addition, Huel have served up enough energy to fuel 8,964 laps of planet Earth, which is equivalent to 25 billion calories from slow-release, plant-based sources of carbohydrates, proteins and fats. A combination of all the above provides Huel with a, another unique selling point, highlighting the impact that they are having on the world and how they are operating to reduce environmental damage and improve the world that we live in today. So we conducted another pestle for Huel. Um, in the protein industry, there is regulatory framework similar to the food industry, including cleanliness in production and displaying ingredients and nutritional value of the product. The government encourage healthy living and eating with the five-a-day framework. For economical, there has been growing disposable incomes among the world's population within the UK markets. This means that the individuals have more money to spend on luxuries such as healthy foods and gym membership, which, is a turn, which in turn could be beneficial to Huel and Quaker Oats. In more recent times, people have become more health conscious due to social media looks and individuals becoming more knowledgeable on how different foods affect their body. 
Techno technological, legal, environmental are all very similar to the same test that we did for Quaker Oats. We created a SWOT analysis of fuel, and it, in doing so, we identified a range of strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. One of the strengths identified was that it's a very large market, meaning that there are lots of consumers, which enables the company to work internationally as they look to expand globally. Another strength is that fuel is convenient, affordable and nutritionally complete. Nutritious food is vital for a healthy lifestyle and fuel allows, us, allows you to have that meal that is both nutritionally complete and convenient. Other strengths are that it's highly profitable, easy to create chains of different products and fashionable. The weaknesses we identified is that the cost is significant, therefore fuel need to be, find a way for their sales to outweigh their cost in order to remain profitable. You will have many opportunities as a new business, including launching brand new products that they have, de that they have developed. Furthermore, Huel focuses on being sustainable in different ways, such as products having long shelf time and contain carefully sourced and sustainable ingredients. In addition, their products are at great value with no complicated recipes, which makes it easy to promote. However, there are some, however, there are some limitations for Huel as identified, such as growing competitors and brand loyalty. A new business such as Huel would really find it a challenge to compete against their competitors due to brand loyalty. However, as we know Quaker Oats has a significant brand loyalty and a strong brand image, therefore co-branding with Quaker Oats will help eliminate the threat of brand loyalty. So here's our proposed co-brand, which we now know is a Quaker Oats So Simple Morning Bars crossed with version 3.1 of Huel's Bar. In more recent times, due to the increased popularity of veganism, high protein innovation is rife in the snack bar segment, with 30% of launches claiming that their snack bars include high protein in 2017, compared to just 11% in 2014. And within this, there is a big focus on vegan ingredients. Therefore, Quaker Oats and Huel combining will provide a significant competitive advantage, which may increase the market value over time, and will give them firm, substantial standout from rival competitors. In addition, co-branding with Hull would help diminish Quaker Oats' threat of a lack of sustainability as Huel is devoted to operating sustainably in order, in order to give positive effects to the environment. Can we argue, however, that Quaker Oats have now committed to using recycling pa packaging on its products and is working towards using 100% recycled material in its packaging, which Huel may fully support its, their research to deliver sustainable and recyclable materials. Looking at both these companies, it is clear that there is contrast with Quaker Oats starting up in 1850, whereas Huel in 2014. Therefore, Quaker Oats joining up with Huel will mean that there is a much more modern appeal to the organisation. So here's just a quick chart showing the similarities and differences between Quaker Oats and Huel. So the similarities are that it focuses on health and nutrition. It has similar target markets. Uh, both have reached out internationally to outside Europe and the US and both are affordable and the difference is that Huel places greater emphasis on sustainability, incorporates, as Harry said, the 26 essential vitamins. Uh, Quaker Oats has a long history whereas Huel only just started in 2014 and Quaker Oats ingredients helps reduce cholesterol. So our proposed co-brand is aimed at uh, commuters during their early morning journeys into work. As per the diagram here, in the early morning, a good source of nutrients, for example, proteins and vitamins, as well as being filling, are two attributes desired in snacks. Each 200 kilogram uh, fuel bar contains a balance of carbohydrates, proteins, essential fats, fibres, phytonutrients, nutrients, proteins, and all 26 essential vitamins and minerals, and therefore meet the demands of these computers, commuters. Quake oh so simple morning bars, can be seen as a mid-morning snack. However, adding the Huel element to it can reposition Quaker Oats to the early morning and targeting, uh, and targeting commuters. According to figure four over here, uh, Quaker Oats are included in, in the other manufacturers section and have combined less than 3% of the market. Therefore, Quaker Oats needs to increase its market share in order to succeed in competing against competitors such as Mondelez International and Kellogg's. Kellogg's in 2020 intend to expand their on-the-go breakfast offer. Expanding their product range further may increase their market share above 17%, which could cause damage to Quaker Oats and reduce their market share further. Thus, collaborating with Huel could increase the market share of Quaker Oats. This can increase the competitiveness of the company in the breakfast biscuits and cereal snack bars market 
and provide Quaker Oats with a competitive advantage. So now moving on to the segmentation, targeting and positioning for the cone brand. We have our segmentation, which is aimed at young commuters within the UK who are seeking an on-the-go breakfast or convenient snack with additional protein, which benefits their active lifestyle. We have decided to target this population due to the fact that 25 to 34 year olds are more, more likely than old people to eat breakfast out of the house, which makes it important that we offer this. For the targeting, the targeting strategy that we will use is undifferentiated as we will be targeting both companies and people who live an active lifestyle. The typical person we are targeting is someone who is an active commuter, enjoys a healthy lifestyle and seeks quick and efficient breakfast that meets their nutritional needs. Further down the line, we may reposition ourselves slightly more towards the sustainable and vegan friendly lifestyle as this is coming more to the forefront recently. In terms of uh, positioning, we will position ourselves as an easily accessible and convenient breakfast bar that delivers nutritional needs for commuters while placing an emphasis on additional protein intake in order to, to avoid fatigue in their lifestyle. The base of this collaboration was to, was to bring the base of this was to bring a heritage brand together with a modern operator. The years of experience with Quaker Oats with the modern personality of Hugh will create a co-brand that will give people not only trust but the confidence that the product is well balanced, nutritious, sustainable and fit for purpose. Hugh will have been provided with the ability to demonstrate the years of experience that Quaker Oats has and Quaker Oats are demonstrating that have moved with the time and are delivering a product that is appropriate for the modern day consumer. Uh, here we just have our value proposition which is fuel your day with fuel. So this is very important as it gives the image that your uh, fuel is fueling your journey throughout each day. Uh, and then here we have our proposed four flavours which shows the visual outlook of our Quaker Oats and Huel product. Uh, so for product, as we stated earlier, one of the key benefits of Quaker Oats is the use of fibre and better glucan. Uh, we want to combine this with the benefits of the Huel products, such as the combination of all the nutrients and minerals, as we mentioned earlier. As well as this, the Huel products are plant-based and use sustainable vegan ingredients. They're lactose-free, soy-free, gluten-free and more. This will therefore create a hybrid um, of both products in one single product. For price, this new product will be a premium brand within the product mix of both companies, and co-branding the two businesses will allow us to charge a higher price because it has greater benefits than the standalone products. For place, the product will be sold through the existing sales and distribution channels of the companies which will provide us with a wider market and more points of sale, such as major supermarkets, online, gyms and cafes and vending machines. For promotion, we are looking to use an integrated approach to launch the website which will be discussed on the next slide. Uh, the product is targeted at commuters and all marketing will be focused on delivering the messaging to the target market in the most appropriate way. For example, train commuters will receive advertising through posters and flyers at train stations. Earlier we identified that one of the key commuter methods is by car, so we would target these consumers through radio advertising and billboards. As well as this, we will use a pool strategy for Marcoms. We are trying to influence consumers to take up the product and focus on, on driving customer awareness. Public relations will be key to spreading the message that this is the first product that combines all of the benefits of both, both brands. This will be done through sponsoring work events such as trade shows and conferences and using celebrity endorsements and influencers. Social media will also be a key driver encouraging trialling. This has been done by Grenade which has recently expanded to, through social media through competitions for, the, for the free product to build its social media following. This encourages sampling and increases market awareness. Despite intense competition, our co-branded product will have a clear point of difference which will regularly deliver innovation within the sector. We have created an exciting hybrid product combining the benefits of beta, glucan and Quaker with the broad receipt of healthy ingredients found in Huel. The heritage of the Quaker brand aligned, aligned with the sustainability values of modern take on the snack product demonstrated by Huel will appeal to a broader segment of the market. Targeting commuters and ensuring all messaging and marketing delivery is focused on where they consume. Their content will ensure the maximum visibility for our new take on the established product. Thank, Thank you very, very much for listening. listening. Here's our references.